Hello, and a very warm welcome to our NT Royal YouTube channel. Prince Harry today smiled as he returned to the UK to promote ecotourism in one of his final engagements before Mexit. The Duke of Sussex will today speak about Travelist, a scoring system that helps tourists find out how eco-friendly their flights are after he arrived in Britain last night. The Duke of Sussex, who will step down as a senior royal in less than five weeks, is in Edinburgh for a working summit of the new travel partnership, Travelist, after jetting into the UK from his new home in Canada. He will return to London later today, where we'll visit the world-famous Abbey Road Studios on Friday, to record a new song for his Invictus Games with none other than rock star John Bon Jovi. Harry arrived in the Scottish capital by train last night, after being stunned by criticism of his frequent use of private jets while campaigning on environmental issues and climate change. Harry arrived at Edinburgh's Waverley Station on the 6 p.m. service from London's King Cross yesterday, looking less than pleased to see waiting photographers. Fortunately for him, LNER, the train company which operates the route to Scotland route, says its new trains are among the lowest carbon options for travel between London and Edinburgh. Travelist has brought together some of the biggest operators in the travel industry, including Visa, Booking.com and Skyscanner, to help travelers pick low-carbon options more easily and chose destinations that will have more benefit to local communities. Today's working summit, involving 100 representatives from the Scottish tourist industry, is designed to test some of the consortium's early plans. It is the first time he will have been seen officially in the UK since mid-January, when he attended a Rugby World Cup event at Buckingham Palace. And it will also be his first public appearance since he and Meghan posted an extraordinary statement on their personal website on Friday night. This is a speech by Prince Harry at Sustainable Tourism event in Scotland. Thank you, Aisha, and good morning, everyone. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here with you all, and of course, uh, all of our Travelist partners too. And thank you to Visit Scotland and the Edinburgh International Conference Centre for being our co-host today. For those of you who still don't know what Travelist is, we are a coalition of partners with a shared goal to transform the future of tourism and travel for everyone. To give people access to better information and ensure the future development of tourism positively supports the destinations that the industry relies on and that their communities depend on. We believe that travel is a good thing. It is the heart of human experience of cultural connections and of new friendships. It is a global powerhouse that employs hundreds of millions of people, keeping culture alive, protecting some of the world's most precious spaces, and that introduces us to people, places, and wildlife that we've only ever seen on a screen. It is these experiences that we remember and cherish. As most of you in this room already know, Tourism is one of the world's largest economic sectors, generating nearly $9 trillion globally each year, representing 1 in 10 jobs and more than 10% of the world's GDP. And it is rapidly growing. It is predicted that tourism will reach over 1.8 billion travellers by 2030. If we do not act and in large part get ahead of this inevitable surge, this massive increase will mean we see more of the world's most beautiful destinations closed or destroyed, more communities becoming overwhelmed, more beaches shut because of pollution, and animals and wildlife driven from their natural habitat, which has a huge impact on communities and reduces tourism opportunities. But we are here to find ways to make sure that that does not happen. We all see a future where people are able to take holidays and trips that have social, environmental and economic benefits to communities and destinations built in. Based on our research, there is an increasing desire for these types of trips, and we want to make them a reality for everyone, but we can't do it without your help. Here in Scotland, you've been working on some great solutions, which actually add to the traveller's experience, and I really can't wait to learn more about it. About it. I want to help create a platform where all of us concerned about these issues can work together, where competitors can unite 
and incentivize a positive systemic change. There's a reason why this hasn't been tried before, but with our partners, we now have the best shot. Travelists founding partners, Booking.com, Skyscanner, TripAdvisor, Trip.com, and Visa have joined forces to lead and mobilize the tourism industry and will be a catalyst for positive change. We have made a great start since launching in Amsterdam, but we will not reach our goal of a more sustainable industry without on the ground experience and expertise, and this is why we're here today. We want to hear truths and perspectives from across the industry. We know that we do not need to reinvent the wheel. A lot of great work has already been done. But our research, again, shows that many of these endeavors have failed to scale or reach the consciousness of consumers. We have to work together with partners, experts, operators, communities, and others to scale up the good practices already being used around the world. And Scotland is a great example of what we mean. There is a holistic ambition to Scotland's intent that can be adopted across the UK and even around the world. Scotland is one of the fastest growing tourism destinations worldwide and is at the forefront of a more sustainable approach, which is why your insight into these issues is so incredibly valuable to us. To hear more about this, it is my great pleasure to introduce Lord Thurso, Chairman of Visit Scotland, to the stage. Thank you. Prince Harry and Meghan's final seven engagements. Prince Harry to join John Bon Jovi at a recording session of his song Unbroken with the Invictus Games Choir. Harry and Meghan will attend the Endeavour Fund Awards in London. Harry will attend the opening of British Motor Racing Museum with Lewis Hamilton. The Sussexes will attend the Mountbatten Festival of Music at Royal Albert Hall. Meghan will mark International Women's Day. The couple will attend the Commonwealth Day service with the Queen at Westminster Abbey. In other news, the Duchess of Cambridge showed off her sporting prowess during a sports aid event in London today. Kate Middleton sprinted down the athletics track and tried her hand at taekwondo during the outing to London Stadium at the Olympic Park in Stratford, East London, this morning. The sports mad royal dressed down for the occasion in a pair of teal culottes from Zara and a green rib jumper, and swapped her typical heels for a more practical pair of trendy Stan Smith Adidas trainers. Kate was on hand to celebrate the important role parents and guardians play in their child's sporting success. During her visit, the Duchess, patron of Sports Aid, will join young athletes who are taking part in a series of track and field activities. Her Royal Highness will then meet parents and guardians of sports aid athletes, past and present, to hear about their experiences, the challenges that they face, and about the impact of the support they receive from the charity. Her Royal Highness will also have an opportunity to listen to a panel discussion involving athletes, parents and guardians. Sports aid helps young British sportsmen and women aspiring to be the country's next Olympic, Paralympic, Commonwealth and world champions. The charity supports over 1,000 athletes each year, the vast majority aged 12 to 18, by helping financially towards training and competition costs. Most young athletes also rely heavily on their parents and guardians, who are often the team behind the teams, providing financial, logistical and practical support. SportsAid runs sessions for both athletes and their family members, allowing parents and guardians from across sporting disciplines to meet each other, share their stories and experiences, and benefit from the guidance that the charity can provide. The Duchess became the patron of Sports Aid in 2013, and has met many young athletes helped by the charity, as well as Olympians and Paralympians who were previously supported by the organization, at Sports Aid's training days, performance workshops and fundraising events. Please support Growing LNT World Channel by subscribe channel, like and share videos hour. Your support is the motivation for us to produce better videos. Don't stop.